Hello and welcome to all my Mariner friends. Let's discuss Salvage Convention, International Convention on Salvage, 1989. 1910 Salvage Convention, under Committee of Maritime International, CMI, held in Brussels September 23, 1910 Adoption. Ratified by more than 54 state, IMO, in 1989. Most of the salvage services are carried out in the high seas and therefore outside the jurisdiction of any national maritime court and likely to involve salver and salver property of different nationalities. India became a party to the convention in 1910 on March 1, 1930 and then acceded to 89 conventions. India has already started applying to the convention but not shown in the MS Act. 1910 Salvage Convention Article 2, Every act of assistance for salvage, which has had a useful result, gives a right to equality remuneration. Nomination is due to the service rendered, having no beneficial results. In no case shall, the sum to be paid exceed the value of the property salved. Article 6, the amount of remuneration is fixed by agreement between the parties and failing agreement by the court. Article 8. The remuneration is fixed by the court, according to the circumstances of each case, on the basis of the following. Article 10. A salvage action is barred after an interval of two years from the day on which the operation of assistance of salvage is terminated. LOF. Lloyd's Open Form contract. This contract is also based on no cure no pay prior to 1980. Now the Council of Lloyds introduced the LOF 1980 form. This contained an exception to the no cure no pay principle and brought about the concept of safety net provision. Means the salver will get at least some compensation. When salvage operations were rendered for a laden tanker, in coastal water, or in mid-ocean but, were unsuccessful or partly successful, the salver could still recover his expenses with an uplift of 15%. The properties will always be paid, by the ship owner, and cargo owner. Safety net payment, was solely made by the ship owner and not by the salved interest. Salver has his own expenses, plus out-of-pocket expenses. Example hiring of a generator, from a third party. So out of the 100% expenses, we will make 15% extra and Salver, will get 115% that means, he has made profit. 15% he will only get, if he cannot save the property. Loft 1990 is a step backward. International Convention on Salvage Adoption on April 28, 1989, entry into force, July 14, 1996 by the United Kingdom in London. The convention replaced a convention on the law of salvage, adopted in Brussels in 1910, which incorporated the no-cure-no-pay principle, salwar is only rewarded for service. There are five chapters and 34 articles. Definitions Salvage operation means any act or activity undertaken to assist a vessel or any other property in danger in navigable waters or in any other water whatsoever. Vessel means any ship or craft or any structure capable of navigation. Property means any property not permanently and intentionally attached to the shoreline and includes freight at risk. Damage to the environment, means, substantial physical damage to human health, or to marine life or resources in coastal, or inland waters or areas adjacent thereto, caused by pollution, contamination, fire explosion or similar major incidents. Payments, means any reward remuneration or compensation due under this convention. Organization, means the International Maritime Organization. Article 13 Criteria for Fixing the Reward 
The award shall be fixed with a view of encouraging salvage operation considering the following criteria without regards to the order in which they are presented below. The salved value of the vessel and other properties. The skill and effort of the salvers in presenting or minimizing damage to the environment. The measure of success obtained by the silver. The nature and degree of the danger. The skill and effort of the salver in salving the vessel other property and life. The time used and expenses and losses incurred by the salver. The risk of liability and other risk run by the salvers their equipment. The promptness of the service rendered. The availability and use of vessels or other equipment intended to salvage operation. The state of readiness and efficiency of the salver's equipment and the vessel thereof. When we use Article 14 we will use Article 13 HIJ. Article 14 Special Compensation. This salver has carried out salvage operation in respect of a vessel, which by itself or its cargo threatened, damage to the environment and has failed to earn reward under Article 13, at least equivalent to the special compensation assessable, in accordance with the article, he shall be entitled to special compensation from, the owners of that vessel equivalent to his expenses as, herein defined. If in the circumstances set out in paragraph 1, the salver by his salvage operation has prevented, or minimized damage to the environment, the special compensation payable by the owner, to the cell under paragraph, 1 may be increased up to a maximum of 30% of the expenses incurred by the seller. However, the tribunal if it deems it fair, and just to do so, and bearing in mind the relevant criteria set out in Article 13 paragraph 1 may, increase such special compensation, for the but in no event, shall the total increase be more than 100% of the expense incurred by the seller. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for my future video presentation.